Hi Hope City! Good morning, it's Andrew here with my quarantine hair and my lockdown beard. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to week 8 of Micro Church. Um, a huge thank you to all of you for leading and participating in Micro Church. It's encouraging to know that we are still worshiping together even though we can't see each other in person. So I'm here to tell you that aside from our communication updates throughout the week, we are bringing back an important element of our worship service right here in Micro Church and in our liturgy, and that is community news. So at Hope City Church, we exist to bring the hope of Jesus to Greater Vancouver and beyond, and we envision being missional, multi-ethnic, multi-generational, and multiplying. So each week in Micro Church, we're going to be highlighting a few important announcements, and then we'll be passing the mic over to you guys where you'll go through the other news items with your micro church and find out what's happening in our community. So today we are starting a new season in our journey uh, this year of repentance as a church, returning to one another. So we're going to be reading and exploring the book of First John for May and June. And today we're going to hear from Sherry um, about the Crisis Pregnancy Center and the Christian Advocacy Society of Greater Vancouver. I also want to acknowledge that today is Mother's Day. I know this can be a joyous day um, and or a difficult day. We are thinking of those mothers who have lost their children, um, those who've lost their mothers, uh, those with strained relationships with their mother uh, or vice versa, and those who have chosen not to be mothers and those who are yearning to be mothers. So I just want to let you know we as a community, we see you and we love and we care for you. Also, please check out this quick update from Phil. Hi, Hope City. It's me and Kayla, and we're here to give you a quick financial update for the month of April. For April 2020, our donations received totaled 16000 uh, which is a 38% drop from April of 2019. But I want to help put this into perspective. You see, our budget per month in 2020 is actually 22000 per month, and so we're really about 28% lower for this month. Around, uh, we're short around $6,000. In terms of our operating expenses, uh, we've been able to cancel our rental, which is helping us out a lot. In addition, to applying, in addition, we will be applying for subsidy provided through the CRA. I know that COVID-19 has been really disorienting for many of us, and I want to know that we stand with you in all the ups and downs. Um, and we also trust that God is going to provide for us and for our church. Uh, for more information, I want to invite you to see the letter that our treasurer and our elder, Leon Sam, put together. Thank you so much. Kids Church Worship Dance Parties. We hope our preschool kids had fun yesterday morning at their worship dance party. And this coming Saturday, May 16th, we'll be having another one for our elementary kids, kindergarten to grade 4, from 11 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. You can refer to our community hub on Facebook to RSVP to the event and for more information like the songs the kids will be dancing to and the meeting link. As well, we are bringing back community lunch next week. Uh, so even though we can't be at Brentwood together, we can still have lunch together in our own homes. We are going to be meeting online at 12 noon after Micro Church, And it's really cool to just log on and meet in a large group like we did for Easter. But it can also be a bit overwhelming and hard to talk and hear one another. So we're going to be splitting off into breakout rooms uh, so that we can chat in smaller groups. So again, there's going to be a Facebook event for that to RSVP to and more details on the community hub. And we'll have a few questions just to guide us in our chat, but it'll be really informal and just a chance for us to get to know each other and see those outside of our micro church. For the kids who are older, we invite you to stay with the rest of the group to read and discuss our passage for today and to hear from Sherry. And for the rest of the kids, I'd like to pray for you like we usually do before you go to kids' church. So let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this time we have to worship this morning in micro church. And we pray that you'd be with us as we go off and do our own lessons and watch our own videos, that we would learn more about you, that we would come to experience who you are and how much you love us. We pray for our families and for our teachers and helpers who we can't see right now, that you continue to be with them as well. We continue to pray for BC and our world um, and that things would get better soon. All this we pray in your name. Amen. So we have a few more announcements below. 
uh, please ask a few people to read them out loud for the group before you move on to the rest of the liturgy. Take care, guys.